Welcome to our demonstration of replicating virtual machine backup data from VMware vSphere Data Protection to EMC Avamar. Replicating virtual machine backup data to EMC Avamar enables easy and reliable movement of mission critical backup data to an off site location, such as another data center or a service provider for disaster recovery. Using the vSphere web client, select the Replication tab in the vSphere Data Protection user interface. Click Replication Job Actions and select New. Here we get the option to select all clients or virtual machines, or we can select clients individually. We select two individual clients and click Next. We have several options for defining which backups are replicated. For example, we can choose to replicate only weekly and monthly backups. It is also possible to limit the replicated backups by number and by date. We stay with the default selections and click Next. In step three, we specify the EMC Avamar destination for the replicated backup data. We enter the IP address, username, and password. Click Verify Authentication to make sure we entered the correct information. Click OK and click Next. A schedule must be defined for the replication job. Daily, weekly, and monthly are the available options. Note that the replication schedule does not have to match backup schedules. We keep the default settings and click Next. We must also define a retention policy for the replicated backup data. The default is to match the retention policy defined by the backup job. However, it is possible to define a retention policy that is different and separate from backup retention policies. Again, we keep the default settings and click Next. Last, we provide a name for the replication job. Click Next, review the details of the replication job, click Finish, and click OK. Once the replication job has been created, it will run as scheduled. It is also possible to manually start a replication job. Select a replication job and click Replicate Now, then click OK. We can see entries in the vSphere Data Protection log file for replication jobs. We simply select the Configuration tab and click the Log button. Here we can see when the replication job was created, when it was started, and when it completed. Switching over to the EMC Avamar user interface, we can see restore points created by the vSphere Data Protection replication job. To begin a restore from this replicated data, we simply right-click and select Restore Now. This concludes our demonstration of replicating virtual machine backup data from VMware vSphere Data Protection to EMC Avamar. Thank you.